Hello guys, welcome once again. Today I'm going to talk about the J table and some problem which is faced by some of the viewers in the J table. So what is the problem I will show you. First, the problem is when you click your J table and in the 22nd video, 2 and 2, 22nd video I have shown how to change your text field value when you press down arrow or up arrow for example my mouse is here but I'm not clicking the table by my by my mouse but I will press down arrow this I have shown in the 22nd video and when I press down arrow for example just see here what happens so here is two second employee ID and but it's it's showing employee info one so it's a mistake once again when I press the down arrow it shows two but my fo focus is on third employee four three five so my employee in four is always trailed by one uh, but I want fifth employee because my focus is on fifth so I will show you how to correct this problem Once again I will show you what is the problem. Here is the focus on fifth and here we can see employee number four. So it should be employee number five because the focus is on five. So I will show you how to correct it today. So now go to your design JFrame and right click that table and event key and key press event so la in the last video that is 22nd video I have shown you that you have to uh, create an event which is key press event and when you click it you can see the code of the key press event that is up and down key when they are pressed they will show the respective value in the J field so in this method just copy your whole method up to here and cut your method so this your key press event is empty now so once again what I have done is I right click event key creep key press event in the 22nd video I have shown that you have to write your code into key press event so go there and just cut your program or copy your program whatever you want and once again go to your table right click it event and go to key and this time you will you must go to key release not key pressed but key release just click key release event and you will go to its method and whatever code you have copied just paste that code here so what we have done is we have cut our code from key press event and pasted it in key release event just that you have to do and then we try to run the program once again And now when you click 
or when you press down key see here what is focus and what is the value here so I press for example down key now it's showing the correct values the focus is on employee ID 2 and you are you can see employee ID 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 so now I hope I corrected my small mistake which I have done in 22nd video so um, I apologize not apologize because the code is the same but it's trailing by one value so uh, I hope you can change your code and now your code will work okay so this was a tutorial and please create comment and subscribe and bye for now